Alrighty, we are gonna top off today. Uh, looks like Diamond Bar was open from the website online, and it is true online. We're gonna head over there, Diamond Bar. It's hard to tell, but it did rain a little bit last night. You see little droplets there. Just got me thinking as I'm going to the hydrogen station. Um, yeah, what if everyone changed had their car swapped to hydrogen cars overnight how would that be uh how would that work out and uh one thing you would have to think about is all the water h2o it would emit um that right there uh all the h2o it would emit to the into the water or into the street um so you would just have all the cars spitting out water into the street um i would imagine obviously that's a road hazard um, and for those of you that live in colder climates where it actually snows or freezes, um, this could be a potential issue. Um, I think it's a problem that they're going to have to solve later on. And so just something, a thought, something to think about, uh, where is all this water going to go as it ejects into the road? Um, if we all had hydrogen cars overnight, um, just a thought as I'm looking at this rain. And for those of you that didn't know, this button right here, this H2O button, it purges your water tank or the fuel, or sorry, water that's emitted from the car and it manually, you're telling it to purge right away versus it figuring out when to purge by itself. Um, this is important if you don't want water splashing in your car or in your garage um, before you head in. So before you would head into a garage, you would, in theory, press this and then once it's done, then pull into the garage and then turn the car off so you don't have a puddle of water every single time you get into the car. Here we go, pulling into the Diamond Bar station. Gates are open this time. I assume it's because during uh, the work week. Oh wow, no one is here. That's good. So we gotta go around this bend. Got all these natural gas cars sitting here. More natural gas, a lot of natural gas, and we are back. At Air Products, and the price is hard to say. So, so currently we're at 68 miles. Put it in park, then. Alrighty, Devon Bar Station. We are here. Press the lid, turn it up. And then now we're gonna insert our card. So just a thought, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I know a lot of you like to debate the future of hydrogen. I don't know if anyone's considered that, considering that you have to account for all the water being discharged from the car. And if you scale that up to the entire city, the country, uh, yeah, where's all that water gonna go? We're gonna have to have really good drainage systems. Um, can we make use of that water under freezing temperatures? Where's that, how's that gonna handle that? Uh, price check, we are at $24.99. This is at the air product station here. No one was in line. Um, check this out. It's kind of hard to see because it's all scratched up, but yes. Uh, $24.99, we're gonna fill up. We had about just the high 60s in range. Um, yeah, so things have been all right. I know a lot of True Zero stations currently are $29.99, so a full $5 more expensive per kilogram, meaning about what, a $25 difference per full tank if you compare the two, right? Five point, something like that, around $25. But anyway, there she is. Uh, no issues so far. No update on the dealership uh, yet. I'm gonna give them till end of today, give them a solid two days to, to, to respond. If not, I'm gonna retract out. Um, but yeah, it's a little drizzly today. Um, this California, it is, what month is it? It's June. 
So there we go. Pretty much $110 for almost a full tank, or hopefully a full tank. It didn't fill me up entirely the past two times. But I'm gonna push in with the black again, and then pull back with the blue. You should do this with two hands, ideally, and try to get it on film. Ah, there we go. Good business end. Go. There we have it. Now we're gonna put the cap back on. Very cold. Let's see what that gets us. Oh yeah, by the way, for all you Toyota Lexus people, or a lot of other brands now, what do you think of this vegan leather? All this stuff. Either from a material and feel perspective or a moral perspective, I don't know. All right, start the car. Let's see what that gets us. Oh, full, oh wow, that is the highest I've ever gotten. That's a new PR for me, 343. Been driving too slow, I'm just kidding. That's amazing. This is after, by the way, uh, the dealer took it in for service. So this is the first fill up. A little suspicious now. Maybe they did do something, but I'll take it. Okay, I have to address this. No AC with AC. No AC with AC. That's a big difference. When I came here, I turned on the AC, I lost two miles. Now it's 43. That's a lot. So, uh, yeah, what gives?